I've not bench pressed this year. I'm pretty sure I didn't do any bench pressing this year. This is the first session that I decided to bench press. I'll have to go back and look at the log to see whether I've actually done a session here or there. But I, I, I can't remember I've done a session this year. This is the first time I've done bench press. And this happened. Uh, walk up from a night shift. It's, you know, kind of a half day for me. Can't really do anything. So on these days, I like to kind of do these types of things, like, you know, try something different. And today I thought, well, the other day I did deadlift. Why don't I do some bench pressing? I didn't even start recording. I didn't think to start recording until I started. I think I got to 130 and I thought, geez, that felt all right, or 120 or something like that. And I thought, man, this is feeling really good. All of this year, for you guys that have been watching me, you'll know that I've been doing push-ups. Lots and lots and lots of push-ups. Some of you guys are saying it's terrible form. Other guys are saying it's okay. I don't really care. I just went for maximum push-ups. I'm not entering the world championships of push-ups. I just want to train my pecs and triceps and delts and all that stuff. Bodybuilder style, prisoner style, just pump the reps out. That's okay. Some people say it's too easy. Whatever, man. Whatever. I don't care. I want time under tension. I want to train the motion of the bench press where I struggle the most, and that's the middle. So when I'm doing push-ups, I'm literally training the middle. That was my thinking. That's all I want to do. And the fact that when you lock out of the push-ups, you're potentially hurting the, the elbow because you're kind of like hitting it against the wall. You're maxing out, like hitting the rev limiter every single time, bang, bang, against the joint. I don't want to do that. And so just shy a little bit from the top. At the bottom, guys are saying I'm not going low enough, but my, my nose is basically almost touching the floor. So whatever. I don't really care. You know, form Nazis have never stressed me out. It's not going to carry over. It's not going to carry over. Today, I almost hit a PR after not touching the bench press for two months. The last time I hit a 140 kilo bench press is probably going back 18 months. I haven't really given bench press all that much attention. I have here and there, you know, but never really pushed it. Um, and I remember, specifically remember, and I've spoken about this many times before, the time I hit 140 kilo bench press PR, this is now going back probably two years, if not more. I did it with greasing the groove push-ups. I did my shitty form push-ups, as some of you guys are saying, crappy form, embarrassing form push-ups. I did that, and I got my 140 kilo bench press PR, three plate bench. So I had a lot of experience with this. This time around, I didn't grease the groove. I just started smashing the hell out of it. So thousands of push-ups. You know, I've had probably three or four days in the last three weeks where I've hit a thousand push-ups in a day. Um, I've done them every other day. I've done them every third day. You know, now I'm doing it every third day. So tomorrow is going to be my uh, my push-up day. I hit 135 today, and I thought I can probably hit 140, but I thought let's make this really interesting and go for a PR. Now going for a PR after not doing anything for two months, this is ludicrous. This is insane. You should not be able to do this. You you, you need some sort of central nervous practice to to become your your final form to get really good at whatever you've developed. The fact that I almost hit a PR cold, basically, after two months of not doing it, tells me once again that push-ups are something special. Something special. Now, some of you guys have said that you've tried this in the past. I've kind of talked about this. Push-ups, 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 increases bench press. Some of you guys have tried, failed. Doing 100 push-ups is not going to do you anything, in my opinion. The, the time when I hit the 140 bench press, I was doing like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of push-ups every week. Never to this extent where I'm hitting thousands, but I was doing lots and lots and lots of volume. Basically, whenever I had a, a free moment throughout the day, I would do a, a set of push-ups. So I'm getting really good at push-ups, and now I'm realizing that it's really carrying over to the bench press. This makes me so happy. Not because the numbers are going up. It's just because I've worked something out. And for me, the intellectual stimulation from that is such a euphoric moment. It makes me smile. It makes me feel poppy. It makes me feel just beautiful inside that I've worked something out. I'm working out the puzzle. When I see the numbers go up, it's not the fact that I'm stronger. I'm the biggest bro in the gym and I'm going to walk around like a freaking fridge. I'm not that. I'm just... Sitting in a little corner, giggling, thinking, it's work, man, it's work. I can't believe it's work. I'm so happy it's work. That kind of thing. So, to zoom out a little bit, thousands of push-ups improve your bench press. 
and I have a feeling thousands of bodyweight squats improve your one rep max on the squat. I want all the lab coats to come out from Harvard, from Yale, bring up 100 kilos worth of papers from 150 different well-established authors, researchers to tell me this is wrong. I don't care. You take your little lab coats and you go and have a little party. I'm going to be in this little corner over here giggling to my success. It's worked. It's worked. This science field is probably 50 years behind what's actually happening. Science is behind. This is not perimeter of science knowledge. This is a laughing stock, really, the, the, the research that's happening in this area. I believe wholeheartedly the high reps, lots and lots of volume improves your one rep max. I don't care. This has been my experience over and over again. I've done my little research anecdote and it's worked on several different occasions. I do not accept anybody that says to me, high reps don't make you stronger. And I'm not talking about it's going to make you stronger in 65 million years time when you you know, progressively overload and you get to your, you know, linear progression, you know, from a million reps all the way to one. No, I'm saying right now, right now. So three days ago, I did a thousand push-ups. Today, I almost hit a one rep max bench press. Yeah, what's up? That's right. That's what I'm saying. And I'm sick and tired of people saying that it doesn't work. Well, am I an alien? Am I an alien? Do I have 65 arms instead of two? This is my experience, you know, I'm so sick and tired of the powerlifting community and the strength community saying, no, once, twos, and threes is all you need to do. Well, maybe that's all you need to do when you're popping trend up your butt. Maybe that's how it happens. In my experience, I did once, twos, and threes, and I was achy for years. Hip pain to the hospital and back. That's not my experience. You do your one, twos, and threes. I guess everyone is different. That's probably the bottom line here. Everyone is freaking different. But for me, once, twos, threes, fours, and fives, Misery, 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 strength regression. I'm doing fluff. I feel like I'm in a pump class with a bunch of chicks doing a whole bunch of freaking bodyweight squats and push-ups. All of a sudden, I'm getting stronger. Oh, what's happening there? Well, let's quickly go to PubMed med, and then look up the latest research from the latest guru about which lab code is best for knowledge accumulation. Out of my face, man. If you care about any of this and if you think I'm nuts, whatever, if you think... And maybe Vine's onto something. Try to do thousands of push-ups a week. Obviously, you can't wake up today and just bang them out like that. Get better at push-ups. Get better at push-ups. Get better at push-ups. When your push-ups go up, your strength, you're going to add some muscle, whichever place you need muscles to push. And then you go to the bench press and you're going to feel the barbell is lighter. We can talk about the cellular adaptations and all this other crap going on. I don't know. All I'm saying is this is my anecdote. When I do this, this happens. I'm like a caveman. I stick my hand in the fire. I'm like, oh shit, that's really hot. I ain't going to do that again. Well, I've done this four or five times over and over again, sticking my hand in the fire. I'm like, well, I'm certain when you stick your hand in the fire next time, it's going to freaking burn. This is my experience with push-ups. I've done it three or four times now. And every time I've done it, success. I do high rep uh, squats, success. Hindu squats, lots of Hindu squats, success. But when I go heavy ass weights, box squats, grinders, no success. Even the pin squats, when I was doing the pin squats, it was like sets of 10. Sets of 10, multiple sets of 10, lots and lots of reps. So it doesn't really matter what you're doing, as long as you're pumping the reps in, everything's gonna go well. And on top of all of that, on top of all of that, you feel good, your joints are feeling great, and you look good, man. I'm adding <clears throat> all kinds of muscles like the Hodge twins used to say back in the day. All kinds of muscles. All kinds of gains. You know, and I'm not even a bodybuilder, but I, you know, when I look at the mirror, I don't want to look like a piece of shit. I want to look like I, there's, there's some sort of evidence of work. And that's what I feel like when I'm doing this high rep stuff. My quads are popping out. I've never had bigger quads in my life, period. My arms are looking all chiseled and whatever from push-ups. I'm feeling better. My traps are popping out. I ain't doing anything for traps. My traps feel better, like I just, whatever. It's all feeling good. So that's it. I almost hit a 142 kilo bench press PR today. Um, I'll continue push upping like a madman. Um, and uh, let's see, let's see where it goes. 
you know, I, I, for, for the longest time I said that like four plate bench press is like my lifetime PI and I kind of gave up on it because I'm like, my God, it feels so heavy. But now I'm thinking to myself, man, as long as I focus on the push-ups and I get to 100 push-ups in one set, maybe one day I can get to 2,000 push-ups in a day, you know, maybe once a week, something like that. Like I get really good at push-ups. I really get good at push-ups. Maybe, you know, this, this will happen. Maybe I'll hit 150 one day on the bench press. Let's see. Let's see if the, these things are uh, correlated. Correlated between push-ups and bench press. I mean, come on. Like, like let, let's let's not be too guru here and, and you know go too deep into this. They're awfully similar movements, man. Why wouldn't they carry over? Why wouldn't they? I think they will carry over, and they are carrying over, and the benefits are multiple. And uh, there's no reason not to do it. The only thing is. The only thing is with this stuff is, my God, it's hard freaking work, man. It is hard work to get a thousand push-ups in a day. It is hard. I don't care how you do it, man. Don't care how you do it. It is hard freaking work. And uh, maybe I was always gravitating towards the whole powerlifting community type of training is because, well, you can call it a training session without even breaking a sweat. You know, you do 10 triples. No one sweats with 10 triples, man. Nobody. You're yawning between sets. <laughs> so this is the drawback. You know, you're, you're going to be working hard. You're going to be huffing and puffing. You're going to be sore. Um, but that's, I guess that's what we have to do to get better. Anyway, guys, a bunch of you guys have said, I can't wait for you to do bench press. I've finally done bench press. And the results are good, fellas. The results are good. Appreciate all of you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.